survey, guys. I am so glad that many of you had came back to join me on this brand new video. I'm so appreciate you for your ama such amazing support so far. I'm welcome back to my channel, by the way. Some of you quite know me already. It's Kate Bobman, and some of you quite new. Also, welcome to my channel. So, first of all, I have got a new book. I'll be doing another video of Read Aloud Disney Classic Stories. It's something you, if you are familiar with, I have done reading Aladdin and Cinderella and Peter Pan. Some of you quite enjoy it so far. I, I'm, I'm so happy that you enjoyed it so far when listening to me reading. That was so grateful for you guys. So, this time I'm going to read is the Jungle Book. I love the Jungle Book. It's just, this is the, it's definitely my favourite classic Disney film ever since I was a child. You can see Bagheera, Mowgli and Baloo. This logo says on the top it says Disney is a wonderful world of reading. You can see the Jungle Book on the title. And we, I guess you're quite familiar with that logo and the posters. Okay. So, okay guys, let's begin reading to you guys. If you are happy, please what you don't comment down below and give thumbs up. And also, if you have already subscribed to my channel, please do. It was a quiet day deep in the Indian jungle. The girl of the panther was look, walking alone the river. Suddenly, the sound was broken by the strange sound. But Gera went to see what was making the noise. It was a man cub. He found a baby boy in a basket, which lay in a half sunken boat. But Gera fell so for the baby, carefully he carried the basket ashore. The man cub will never survive without the mother. But Gera asked said to himself, What should I do with you, little fellow? He asked the for smiling baby. Begera remembered that the wolf pact lived nearby. Perhaps they would adopt a man cub. Begera brought the basket to the wolf's den. When the, when the wolf, her mother wolf and her cubs found a loving baby, they smiled. Rama, the father wolf, was not so pleased at first, but soon he too was smiling at the man cub. The wolf's named the man cub Mowgli. For ten years he lived happily in a jungle. Mowgli learned many things for the wolves. He learned how to run like a wolf. He learned how to scratch himself like a wolf. He even learned how to play dead like a wolf just for fun. But one day there was some bad news in the jungle. Shere Khan the tiger had returned. The fearsome tiger hated all humans because a hunter had once shot at him. Mowgli was now in danger. So late that night the wolf pack gathered with Bagheera on the council rock. Even the strength of the pack is not much for Shere Khan, declared Ikila. For pack leader, the man cub must leave at once. But he is like my own cub, protested Rama. Where will he go? Then Bagheera spoke up. Perhaps I can help. I know all the man village where the Mowgli will be safe. I will take care take him there. I was, I was, it was agreed that Bagheera and Mowgli should leave for next morning, but taking Mowgli to the man village would not be easy. This is my home, persisted Mowgli. As Bagheera tried to pry him from the tree, I don't want to leave the jungle. Reluctantly, Mowgli had began the journey to the man village with Bagheera. Night began to fall. When they came to the big tree, 
big gear and decided they would spend a night there go to sleep, he told Bugley as he settled himself on the lodge branch. But they were not alone. Carl the snake was hiding in a tree, and he thought Mugley would m make a tasty treat. Yes, man cub, Carl whispered as he slithered down the tree. Go to sleep. Mugley woke up and saw Carl. Go away, leave me alone, he said to the snake. But Cos just smiled an evil grin and said, Don't be afraid, man cub. Trust me. Go to sleep. Cos stared at Mowgli. Mowgli stared back, but he began to feel dizzy. He was under Cos's spell. Cos wrapped his long tail around Mowgli. Bagheera woke up just in time. What are you doing, Carl? He shouted. Bagheera slapped Carl Ka with his paw before a snake could hurt Mowgli. Carl fell into the ground with a thud. You have made a serious mistake, Bagheera said Carl as slithered off. Back on the branch, back on the branch. Bagheera said, You'll see, Mowgli, the jungle is too dangerous for you. You'll be safe at the man village, but I want to live in the jungle. I can't take my care of myself, cried Mowgli. No, said Bagheera kindly. You belong in the man village. You will go there in the morning. But Big but Mowgli did not want to live in the village so early that next morning. Before Big Girl was awake, he ran away. He did not need any more. Mowgli said to himself, but after a while, he felt very lonely. Then Mowgli heard somebody singing. Dooby, dooby, doo, dooby, dooby, dee. Sam Baloo, a big family bear. Baloo noticed Mowgli was, was by himself. Well, hello there, little bridges, Baloo said to him with a smile. They quickly become friends. Will you teach me how to be a bear? Mowgli asked. Sure, Baloo answered. So Baloo taught Mowgli how to dance like a bear and how to growl like a bear. And even how to fight like a bear. I want to stay in the jungle with you, Baloo, said Mowgli. Later, Baloo and Mowgli went for a swim. I'll teach you all about the bare necessities of life, Mowgli, said Baloo as they floated down the river. I like being a bear, Mowgli replied happily. Neither of them noticed that several Mowgli's were watching them. The monkeys wanted to bring Mowgli to their leader, King Louie. Before Baloo could stop them, the monkeys grabbed Mowgli. Help, Baloo! Help me, Baloo! cried Mowgli. But the monkeys swiftly swung him around in the tree tops. Soon they were farther from the river. When the monkeys reached their home, they brought Mowgli to King Louie. So you are the man cub, said King Louis. Crazy. I'm not crazy. You are, said Mowgli. Have some bananas, said King Louis. Showing two into, shoving two into Mowgli's mouth. I'll tell you what, he continued. I can fix that. I can fix it so fat you can stay in the jungle. Have we got the deal? Yes, sir, said Mowgli. The monkey decided to celebrate. Everyone started dancing. Meanwhile, Baloo had found uh, ancient ruins where the monkey li monkeys live. In order to rescue Mowgli, he disguised himself as a big monkey and danced right into the party. Baloo made a very good monkey. Baloo's plans work. While the monkey sang and danced, he carried Mowgli out of the ruins.
thanks thanks for rescuing me, said Mowgli. I do want to be a monkey. I would ra rather be a bear like you. But you're not a bear, Mowgli, Baloo said, sadly. The jogging is too dangerous for you. You belong in the man village. You are just like a big you are know, you are just like Big Era, shouted Mowgli. I don't want to go to the man village. I can take care of myself. So Mowgli ran away from Mowgli too. But Baloo too. He didn't even notice that was Storm was approaching. Mowgli ran for the jungle, suddenly ran right into the Shere Khan the tiger had been waiting for his moment. The man cub was alone in the jungle at last. Did you, do you know who I am, man cub? asked Shere Khan, showing the boy his sharp claws. Yes, but I am, I am not afraid of you, said Mowgli. You must be afraid of me. Everyone's afraid of me. Says Shere Khan smugly. Well, you don't scare me, said Mowgli. Ah, ye have spirit for one so small, said a tiger. You just serve a sporting chance. I will close my eyes and come to ten. It makes a chase more interesting. Shere Khan began to count. One, two, three. But Mowgli did not run away. Instead, he reached for the stick. Suddenly, there was a loud clap of thunder. The storm had arrived. Just as Shere Khan was about to attack Mowgli, a, a bolt of lightning flashed in the sky. The lightning hit, near, hit a nearby tree, starting a fire. Shere Khan let out a great war. He was afraid of fire. Mowgli saw that Shere Khan was afraid. He picked up the burning branch and chased Tiger away. Soon the rain from a storm put out the fire. Just then, Bagheera and Baloo arrived together. They both had been searching for Mowgli and and heard Shere, Khan, Shere Khan's war. They were happy to see that Mowgli was not hurt. We are we are, we're glad we were safe, little Bridges, said Baloo as Mowgli ran up to the big bear and gave him a happy hug. Baloo and I were very worried, added Bagheera. Bagheera hugged Mowgli too and then told them about his encounter with his Shere Khan. But the time he finished, the day was ending. So the three friends found a safe place to rest. Soon they were soon asleep. The following morning, they all went to the river near a man village. When they arrived, they heard something, someone singing. They crept closer, closer. The girl was fetching some water from the river. What's that? asked Mowgli. That's a girl cub, the girl told him. Mowgli had never seen a girl cub before. Cub. He decided to take a closer look. As he approached her, he made a little noise. She turned and saw him. She smiled at Mowgli and dropped her jug, jug of water. Hey, she did that on purpose, Bloom said as he and Bagheera watched from behind the bushes. Quite right, my friend, said a wise panther with a smile. Mowgli quickly picked up the jug the young girl had dropped and refilled it with water. Then he followed her. Maybe he would like a man village after all. As, as Mowgli was about to t enter the village, he smiled and his friends and waved goodbye. Well, Billy, said Bigera, Mowgli will live in the man village from now on. We will miss him, but 
when he is where he is when he belongs. Yes, agreed, Baloo. But I still think he would have made one swell bear. Well, I said, I'm glad you love. I'm glad you enjoy listening to me reading the classic Jungle Book Disney. So, um, I hope you are um, already subscribed to my channel and hit this bell for notification. And don't miss out on future videos. And if you have you already, you can support me on social media, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. You already seen it from a just below for the video description and I thank you ever so much and for your such amazing support and and definitely if you want to stay tuned I'll see you on the next video have a good day guys